Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. So uh, I'm really excited. These came in a day sooner than I you know, expected them to. So this was a nice surprise and I rushed down here to do this video. This came from Tools for Gents. You guys have probably heard me talk a lot about them here lately. Uh, if you live outside the United States, you might be a little more familiar with them. Either way, I'm going to link them right down below so you guys can check them out. This is where I get a lot of those crazy overbuilt knives, right? Uh, they told me, they said, we want to send you a, a knife to check out. So there's a knife here. And then they also, they're like, hey, we know you're into watches. Um, so, you know, you should take a look at our website and see what we've got. And uh, I found something that I very much liked. And I uh, can't wait to get into that as well. Um, I think... Because this is a knife channel, we're going to save the knife for for second there. That's probably going to be the thing that more people are going to stick around to watch. Um, this first thing here is a watch. And it's like a tools for gents specific thing. Now, I took a look and there's a few different styles of this. And like I said, these both of these items will be linked down below. But I took one look and I was like, this is exactly my style. Like it, exactly my style. Uh, like, I mean, I, I'm a new watch guy. I'm not like a super, you know, if you were to ask me, you know, what do you think about this movement or that movement? I haven't been th in this part of the world long enough to be able to tell you. But I do have a specific aesthetic taste, as I'm sure anybody does, right? Whatever part of the watch ladder you're on. Um, and I also have preferences when it comes to things like, you know, the, the sapphire crystal and the, the uh, ceramic bezel and the screw down links and things like that. So I looked over this thing, the information they had on the website, and I thought, Wow. This uh, this looks pretty awesome. So um, let's uh, let's open this up. Oh man, oh man, I love it. You guys know that I keep going with um, black, and I saw this green one, and I was like, yes, absolutely. I love the coining out here. That looks beautiful. Signed crown. I love that they got the tools for gents crossed swords. I got I got to be honest. You know, the, the sword and my logo, you know, and just the general, if you guys have been around for a bit, you kind of know my thing with that. Um, I was uh, I was a big fan of how they had that there. Uh, I also thought it was interesting that it had a, a helium release valve and was a 500 meter diver. So, um, yeah, this is beautiful. We have the signed clasp there, too. And this is milled, which is really cool. Uh, we have, I think these are pinned links which is okay right um and then i i think that this is also a 44 to my knowledge this is swiss made i'm just getting this back up to the top but uh it's not often that i will deviate from like you know black and so this is this is a first for me doing a little bit of color um, but, uh, I, uh, I absolutely love this. This is, this is really, really cool. I am, uh, very much into this. I'm going to put the name of this night of this, uh, watch, uh, up on screen right now so that you guys, you know, can get those details. And then of course, if you want to, um, take a look down in the, um, uh, in the description, then you'll be able to, you know, see all the, the details and specs and things like that. It looks like, I think everything is lined up pretty well, right? It's hard to, Sometimes it's hard to tell right off the bat, especially while I'm looking through, you know, like a camera or something, but it, it appears to be all on the way that you would expect it to be. I'm just happy to have a different color other than black <laughs> in the line there. So it doesn't, I mean, it, it feels thick and it feels like a pretty big watch, but it's not the most Titanic one that I've got. Uh, I just, uh, I don't have the biggest wrists in the world, but I have larger wrists, so I like a little bit of a larger watch. The, the smaller faced ones tend to look a little bit funny on me, but this is absolutely beautiful. And oh, look at that. Let's take a look at the back here. Let me open this up so we can get a little bit better view. Yeah, I love the see-through. Here, you'll probably want to see the back here, whether it, maybe it says it has some information that other people are going to get more out of. I'm sorry, I'm trying, guys. Manic, Swiss made. Yeah, I don't know if it has any information on the movement or anything like that, but I would venture to guess that they have that information on 
the uh, website there. So anyways, very cool. I can't wait to get all of the plastic off that and take a look. And then we also have a knife here. Now I gotta be honest, I don't know what this is. I intentionally was like, I'm not gonna, you know, look. <laughs> oh man, what in the heck? <laughs> okay, the name of this one is gonna be up on uh, up on screen right now. This is why I love, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's an overbuilt front flipper. That is not something that I expected to see. Look at the blade stock on this. Oh my God, this is absolutely ridiculous. What do we have here? Oh, it's S30V. Okay, these were previously in D2. So, or I mean, a lot of this stuff from Midgard's Messer. SIF Ultralight. There you go. <laughs> Lots of... This is probably the thickest edge that I have ever felt. But, uh, you know, the reason to enjoy stuff like this, at least from my perspective, is not because it's like, oh, I, you know, it's a better... Cutting, you know, no, I like these crazy overbuilt knives just because they're crazy overbuilt. Uh, we have a ton of jimping way, <laughs> the, the jimping extends way out here. That's great. So again, an interesting place for the pocket clip. It feels very foreign, you know, versus most of the, most of the knives that I handle, the pocket clip is mounted down through the middle here. Um, yeah, look at the, uh, the back here. I'm not sure that I love the exposed lock face that's probably not a good idea because of you know if you were to drop it and ding up the lock face probably not the best thing in the world um we have a lot of shouldering back there and uh you know contacting the stop pin titanium backspacer if the oem is the same as the thunrar the beowulf and the viking then this is concept if it is not then i do not know who uh does this um, are these numbered? Yeah, 18. Okay, so it looks like they only did 30 of these. Interesting. Well, I'll make sure that it's linked down below. I'd actually like to cut a piece of paper with it just to see. I'm sure it's, it's sharp enough to slice paper. I'm just very curious. Turn it. It's a, kind of a weird front flipper because it's so thick. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm missing. Oh, it's a thick edge. Yeah. <laughs> This one is almost, this is a little bit too thick. I can get it. You can get it, but it's almost too thick. It doesn't want to bite in, right? <laughs> can I get a piece of cardboard with it? Hold on. Let's try this. Probably. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> it's almost too thick, right? Funny one, okay. Sometimes we look at things that are not necessarily the most practical things on the market, right? But I can't say I've seen a a, um, a front flipper. I can't say I've ever seen a front flipper that was this thick. I'm going to measure the blade stock thickness of it here real quick. Hang on. <laughs> 238 thousandths, just like the, uh, the other ones are approaching a quarter inch. All right interesting stuff for sure you will definitely get a full review on this guy and this guy's going on my wrist immediately uh can't wait to get that uh, size properly anyways thank you so much to tools for gents for sending this stuff in for me to take a look at like i said links down in the description if you guys want to see uh if you want to hear my full thoughts on this guy give me a couple of weeks and i'll have a full comprehensive review for you guys Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.